Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna talk about the 20 week moving average approaching its prior all time high. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the 20 week has been a very important level for us for a long time. Right. And, and if you're new to the channel, it basically being our, our bull market line of defense, right, during a bull market, this is where we where we ultimately come down to before we we've moved back up. And if we can't hold it, we typically correct pretty hard. Right. And we, we've seen that both times this cycle. And then most recently, our, our test of the 20 week has what has led to um, it's helped propel the price you know, back upwards. Right. There's. There's some some bullishness has 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 re-entered the market because people are more optimistic that hey, the twenty week moving average held. It didn't it didn't hold over here, and it didn't hold over here, uh, but it held this time. And so maybe there's a little bit more reason to be optimistic. Now one of the things we we talk about sometimes is hiding the noise, right? And the price is noise. So let's hide it. So what we're left with here is the 20 week moving average. Now, one of the things I, I want to look at is, is look at the, you know, look at the macro scale, look at the trend and you can see the, the general trend here, right? I mean, we can, we can kind of outline it. It kind of goes like this and it follows this line where it's, you know, doing something like that. And then the upper bound is, is, you know, doing something similar, right? But curving, curving over, right? So this is essentially what the 20 week moving average is doing. And note that the Y axis is on a logarithmic scale, right? Of course, it's not going to necessarily level off here. I mean, it'll, it'll keep going. I just probably drew it pretty badly. Um, but you get the general idea, right? It, we go through these boom and bust cycles and it's all a matter of, of, of taking advantage of it. And, and one of the things that's interesting to look at is to look at prior all time highs of the 20 week moving average. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a move from just a right above the peak and look what happens until we broke it. So this was the first time. So right above the peak, kind of this little cup in here, reform. And and after we after we form it, then we, you know, we really pick up speed. Okay. And then the same thing again. So if we if we draw another trend line from the top of this one all the way over. We have sort of another little cup in here. And then once we get there, we're, we're really off to the races and we head on up, right? So something like that. Okay. And then yet again, let's draw another one. So right up here, right, up, right above where we had the prior, prior move and we'll draw it all the way over. And then the shape looks somewhat different this time, but it's still, you know, a kind of a kind of a cup shape. Okay, so here, <clears throat> what what we want to look at is, well, what is the twenty week moving average at today? Well, it's currently at ten thousand six hundred, so it's been moving up quite rapidly. So the twenty week moving average is at ten thousand six hundred. Remember, back on, um, it wasn't that long ago when we tested the 20 week moving average and it was actually at 9,800. So if we zoom in and, and go back a little ways, back on say the week of September 7th, it was around $10,000 the week, you know, the week before it was around 9,700. So it's not like, you know, it took it about beginning of September to go from $10,000 up to, uh, eleven thousand six hundred dollars over the course of about a month and a half or so okay and and one of the things we've looked at of course is, is looking at okay well what marks the 20 week moving average so if we were to take a measured move um so let's let's take a measured move here and go back 20 weeks let's see where we are so this is where we are let's draw a line at this point the week of june 1st 2020 so we're currently replacing we're currently replacing these candle, these prices with ones up here. And, and because of that, the 20 week moving average is, is going to start picking back up again. So before we could, we were saying, okay, well, conservatively, it's moving up by approximately $100 a week, because we noted the difference between the candle here and the candle here it took 1 20th of it and said, okay, it's going to go up by about a hundred bucks a week. 
Now that the price of Bitcoin has moved up, I know this says 12,800, but this is the BLX that only shows the closing price. I think the current price is, is closer to around 13,100. But, you know, it, there's it's probably going to be going up by maybe $150 a week or so. And it depends on exactly where the price goes um, and whatnot. So it's hard to give you an exact number. But let's suppose uh, that it, you know, it goes up by about 150 bucks a week. We recognize that the prior all-time high of the 20-week moving average was all the way back over here. Um, and it was at, I should probably draw that a little bit better, it was at around 11,100, okay? So we're really not that far away um, from the 20-week moving average breaking through uh, that prior, you know, that prior all-time high, okay? And, and we could theoretically get there conservatively if you just assume 100 bucks a week, let's say, let's say Bitcoin comes back down and then it goes back down to like, you know, in the 11,000s or 12,000s, um, maybe it moves up 100 bucks a week. Uh, so conservatively, it might take us like five or six weeks to, to get above it. Um, and, and for that to happen, it would, it would put us, you know, essentially in December, probably December, maybe, no, maybe late November. So either sometime in November, December, um, conservatively speaking, breaking the prior 20 week moving average all time high. And again, this is just if this trend continues, if if the price of Bitcoin were to go to like 16k or something in the short term, then we would get there a lot sooner. But um, if on the other hand, we, we kind of come back down, or you know, level off in this area, it's going to take us a few more weeks to break the prior all time high of the 20 week moving average. And so once the 20 week moving average is up, you know, 11,100, there's a good chance, you know, we're going to hold it at various levels. Even if this is a bull market, we'll come back down and, and test the 20 week moving average several times, right? So, I mean, we've seen that in prior cycles, of course, testing the 20 week moving average several times throughout this, throughout this regime. And so, you know, the idea is that even, you know, if the 20 week moving average is going to continue to move up, then, you know, let's, let's just suppose that it, it, you know, it continues to move up. Let's say it breaks through the prior all time high. Maybe it, maybe it picks up steam a little bit more. Um, you know, it's not gonna, well, it might not, it might not necessarily decrease. Um, it depends on exactly what the price does, but you know, it, maybe it does something like this, right? And, and it continues to, to move, to move up. Um, and, and so if it does that, or if it, if it moves up faster, right? It, it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that we want to hold that 20 week moving average as support no matter where we are. So while a few weeks ago, the price of the 20 week moving average that we needed to hold was 9,800, today, the price we need to hold would be 10,600. And then next week, it might be 10,750 or 10,800. So we could break the 20 week moving average all time high sooner rather than later, if, if Bitcoin price remains this bullish, if we continue going up or just hold this level, it might only take us two or three weeks to break it, right? But um, it doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, the 20 week moving average is the level we need to hold, but just remember that it is dynamic. If you're not aware of how to look at it, you can always find it on TradingView, but it currently is at around $10,600. So this 10,600 is what I would consider to be the, the, the bull market line of support. So if for whatever reason we had a, a retracement in the price, then 10,600 would be where we would want to hold the line. Okay, so it's an exciting time. I think, you know, I think people are, are excited to see some, you know, some positive price movement, right? We like to see, we like to see it go up. We've talked about, we've talked about how critical holding the 20 week moving average can be. And here's a great example of, of, a, of, a, of a good test of the 20 week moving average and then a, and then a move back up. So let's not get too excited. I, I'd, I'd say let's just remain cautiously optimistic. Uh, you know, be happy that the investment in Bitcoin is, is working out for the better and, and just get accustomed to the new normal and, and we'll continue to stick to our plan. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you want access to the premium content, you can find that at intothecryptoverse.com. You get access to a weekly report, a weekly video, a alerts channel on Telegram, a private Telegram chat room and a risk dashboard. By the way, I think the, the, the Telegram Alerts channel is what people really seem to enjoy. I do spend a lot of time on that channel just, you know, putting a ton of information basically every single day. So you can always check it out for a month. If it's not your thing, you can cancel. 
Um, but yeah, let me know. And so subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. We also have the Telegram channel, check that out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.